Pretty much one year ago I started to develop a small pixel art RPG that was based on the book Developing 2D Games with Unity. It was supposed to be a small game and I wanted to finish it in a month. Well, yeah, it got bigger and bigger and after six months it's still far from finished. And then I took a break from this game for other projects. But now it's time to get back. And since most of you probably haven't seen this game yet, I will show you everything I have done so far. The game is about a small generic hero, the chosen one to defeat the evil. Well, or is he? If the player dies, you gotta start from the beginning with a brand new hero. I guess the last one wasn't the chosen one after all. By the way, that is the name of the game, chosen one. You will get more information about the story in future videos. The unique selling point of this game are the weapons. Over the months I have created a large variety of different weapons. We have normal weapons like the sword, which over time evolved to bigger sword and an even bigger sword. Awesome weapons like this lightsaber, crazy weapons like this gun that shoots the player or just straight up ridiculous weapons like the scissor, which not only damages the enemy, but at the same time changes the haircut of the player. The player can hold up to three weapons at the same time, which are switching automatically after usage. Not only the weapons are a little bit different in this game, I have created some strange enemies too. Simple orcs are the most boring ones. I crossed elephants and bees and got those beautiful elephalies. I tried to do the same with spiders and giraffes, but yeah, nope. Later I also added gangster orcs and fire spitting llamas. Don't ask. <laughs> and let me tell you, the enemies will get much crazier in the future. I added the rolling ability, particles, shadows, camera shake and a new tile map to finally have a game that looks somewhat decent. As you may or may not can see I took a lot of inspiration from Archville by Eidos, which is a super awesome looking pixel art RPG as well as from Billy's Nightmare from Broman, which is also an incredible pixel art rook-like. Links to them will be in the description. The next great thing I implemented was armor, which ended up being freaking awesome, man. The last thing I did was trying to create the first level and the player also get points for defeating the enemies. I definitely have to rework this level, but you know, there's a lot of stuff I need to rework and, and do in the future, so yeah. Now you got a good overview of everything that I've done so far. From now on I will try to make weekly devlogs for the chosen one every Thursday. And on Sunday you will get my other game dev videos. I don't know yet if I can pull this two videos per week schedule off, but we will see. Don't be mad at me if I miss a few videos, this will happen. If you have seen this game for the first time then please tell me in the comments what you think about it. I would love to hear your opinion. And don't forget to subscribe to never miss any video of this new devlog series.